Uh, last video we did, we um, showed how to remove Zeus fasteners from a, uh, a panel. And um, we're working on a uh, Grumman McKinnon Goose, a Grumman Goose, piston goose that was converted to turboprops back in 1970. And we're doing a full restoration on it. So here we have the engine mounts on a stand. And there's about 730 Zeus's that we're replacing. We pulled all the Zeus's out and then had the panels painted. Uh, so now we're putting them in. We're, we're using Skybolt Zeus's. They're all stainless steel. Uh, the, the quality is pristine, uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, they, they go together like they should. They fit right. And I've had no defects so far, and we're probably three quarters of the way through. Um, but the normal way of putting, of setting these grommets, putting these together, is with a C clamp. That was the way I was told that the way they do it. And they have their sets here two different sets for the process, and they would go on the C clamp, and then you would use the C-clamp to, to squeeze the grommet. Um, I practiced some sample pieces here to get the hang of it and realized that the C-clamp way was just going to take way too long and be way too much work. So, went out at Harbor Freight, bought an Arbor Press and adapted it to handle these two different sets. Um, the, 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 they've got a magnet on one end, which works great on the top, and on the bottom, I put a roll pin in this plate and drilled the hole here a little bit bigger so that this piece can go on the roll pin, and then just snug up the set screw, and then you can, you can set the grommets this way. So. Um, some practice to get the hang of it. We're going to show you how it works on one of these panels here. Uh, the first thing that we do is we put the, the grommets in from the back side forward or, or from the back side. Now all these holes are they're, they're drilled to 3 8 which is the correct size for this size grommet these are, um, I guess we'd call them number fives. The Zeus's are number fives. They come in different, si different sizes, different diameters, and different lengths. These are number fives. On, I think that's on the diameter. And then the grommets are also, would, in this case, would be number fives, but then they come in different lengths too, based on the thickness of the material you're going through. Um, this is the work. We're using the length, the 312 length. And, um, and then on the Zeus is the fastener itself, that length is the 30. That's the right length for this thickness panel and where we're going through here. This panel we're doing is going to go across this section here. So all the springs are the old springs that were there. They're there and if, if any of these springs were on a piece of metal that was doubled up, you'd have to go to the next longer Zeus. But in this case, none of them are on any hole that is a double thickness on the metal. So, we take these grommets from the, from the, the back side of the panel, push them in. Over here we've got the right set in for this part of it. And what we do is put it like that, like this, and just a gentle, just a gentle little pull, and it just starts to form the grommet just enough that it won't fall out, but not 
enough that we wouldn't be able to push the Zeus fastener in the hole. Because we still got to put the fastener in before we do the next step. So, and this is a heck of a lot quicker and easier than trying to do this with a C clamp. So then the next step, we're going to change, change these sets because the next step will do the final crimp on that grommet with the Zeus fastener in place. And these sets are also available from Skybolt. So you put them on there, you just line up the top. That's because it's just a magnet, magnet, just top piece, so it centers on the bottom part. Then we'll take our panel and we'll take our fastener, we push it in the hole. I hold it up against the head, it comes down in that bottom piece. Then I do this in two, two steps. I do a, a crimp like that, then I do one more. Gives a final squeeze. And that's, that's it. It's nice, nice clean press on the grommet. So I got a nice flat surface on the bottom side and a good surface on the top side for the head of the Zeus to turn on without scratch, scratching the paint. And because these pieces aren't painted, these heads stay nice and crisp, so you don't end up with paint in the slot, which makes it a lot easier to slip with the tool every time you take them in or out. Sometimes there's some adjusting needs to be done. These panels haven't been on in a while. Fine colors had to put all these panels on. I'm not sure how they held them on, but to, to do the striping and things are lining up pretty good. These guys are going here, one on each side. Again, just to kind of show how, how easy this is. The grommets go in first from the back side. These small panels are a little easier to uh, maneuver. Let me take uh, out the set in for, for doing this. And you flip it over so the, the bottom of that can sit right in that piece. And then we just, just do a gentle a gentle flare just to, could hold the grommet from falling out. 
and I'm not pushing very hard. These uh, grommets are aluminum. They feel like they're soft, so they they flare over real easy. Like that. And we take the right size studs, and that's what these are. Wait a minute, before we do that, we've got to change the change the set. stud in, just, just drop it in. The grommet won't fall out. And then I, I put it up in the top piece and bring it down so it's in the bottom hole and then I'll usually do this in two pulls. One pull gets it down and then the other one really sets it. And put the stud in there. I hold it in the top so it gets in the bottom. Do it two pulls, one pull sets it, and then the bottom one gets it really down there. And the stud is still loose in there. That's that. So then we'll, we'll clip this on. This is a left sider. Let me get, get my tool. And that's it. Because this is all this has had all these pieces on before and the springs are the original springs. I haven't had to adjust any springs yet from the back side. Um, there's a tool there's a tool for that. Looks like this it also comes from Skybolt and it can pull or push a spring to tweak the, the length in here right so that the stud grabs it properly. On this job I'm finding it easier just to, if the if it spring seems a little tight or loose, I'll go the next size longer or shorter stud. But I will test it before I put the studs in with the grommets. Right now I'm working on this top, um, these scoops on both sides, and I'm putting studs in without grommets to get the length right because we've got two layers of metal on the scoop and um, there's three different stud lengths that I pulled out when I pulled the old ones out. So I'm just putting them all in without the grommets to make sure I get the right stud length. 